Embassy of God Christian Community, with more than 50,000 members in Ukraine, 90 weekly services held in different locations, more than 1,000 daughter churches throughout the world, with 15 new churches opening every month in Ukraine and abroad, pastors and leadership schools in Ukraine, Germany, and the USA, with missionary schools and hundreds of graduates from the Joshua Bible Institute every year. More than 7,000 alcoholics and drug addicts have been set free from addiction. Thousands of lives have been restored to happiness and a meaningful life. Thousands of loved ones have been reunited with their families. This powerful move of the Spirit of God began some 12 years ago when one man, Sunday Adelaja, accepted his calling from God. Honored Doctor of Theology at Latin Theological University, Los Angeles, USA. Honored Human Rights Protector of the UNO Human Rights Protection Committee. Honored Academician from the Unity of the Nations International Academy. Consultant and friend of many world leaders. Advisor to the governments of Africa, Europe and America regarding issues of national reformation. The Senior Pastor of the Embassy of God Christian Community. Sunday at Elijah is respected by many political and religious leaders as well as people in the fields of science and art. Well-renowned preachers T.L. Osborne, Miles Monroe, Reinhard Bonnke, John Maxwell, John Bevere are among a few in close relationship with Pastor Sunday. Pastor Sunday has had the opportunity to meet many film stars in Hollywood, as well as Peter Daniels, a multi-millionaire from Australia. Peter is now a regular guest in Ukraine and holds seminars with Pastor Sunday. In May of 2005, Sunday Adelaja was among one of the seven most influential evangelical leaders invited to a meeting with the Israeli government. Every week, Pastor Sunday holds conferences and seminars outside of Ukraine. For the last four years, Pastor Sunday has visited more than 30 nations to discuss matters of national interest with governments and heads of states. In September of 2006, Sunday Adelaja was invited as one of the world's most influential persons to the Humanity Problems Solutions International Conference organized by the ex-president of the United States, Bill Clinton. The ministry of Sunday Adelaja has drawn the attention of the world media. Popular magazines are full of articles about the African preacher who is working miracles in Europe. Well-known editions such as The Voice, Charisma, Life TV, Washington Post, The Wall Street Journal, Associated Press have all published articles about him. Pastor Sunday is a regular speaker on the Moody Radio Focus on the Family program. BBC visits yearly to film events connected with the Embassy of God. Several programs featuring Pastor Sunday are broadcast on SBN, Revelation TV, CNN and ABC TV. For the past four years, the largest Christian channel, TBN, has been broadcasting programs of Pastor Sunday Adelaja's teachings. CNL is another channel which covers his teachings. Pastor Sunday is the author of over 10 books about practical Christianity. He has written 89 books in Russian and 16 in English covering topics of spirituality, purpose, leadership, family, and business. The Apostle Sunday Adelaja is fulfilling the perfect will of God by working on issues of national transformation. When you need him, expect a miracle. As more sports news for you in about an hour from now. Now then, it's got a congregation of thousands, a charismatic Nigerian leader, and it's planning to spend millions on a new headquarters. But the Embassy of God Church isn't in Africa, or indeed in the Bible Belt of the USA. It's in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church says it's brainwashing people, and those in charge are more interest, interested in power than religion, a claim denied by the Embassy of God. The BBC's Helen Forks reports. It might seem like a pop concert, but this is religion, Ukrainian style. The Embassy of God is sweeping across the country. It claims to have 25,000 members in the capital alone. 
For people here, a church service that has a feel-good factor is something new. But the reason it attracts so many people is this man. <laughs> Charming the audience with tales about temptations he's faced, Sunday Adelijah is the charismatic leader of the Embassy of God. His bright clothes and upbeat message make him stand out from other religious leaders. He started the church with just a handful of African students in Kiev. Now, even the city mayor is a regular. But Mr. Adelijah has faced a lot of hostility. Can you imagine a black man coming from Africa, you know, in this society? Here, you are lucky that you are white, because if you are black, you would have felt the difference. The Embassy of God is growing in popularity, but it's still the Orthodox Church, which is the dominant religion here. Most people consider themselves to be Orthodox Christians. It's a religion which has been around for centuries. And the rituals have hardly changed. It's a complete contrast to the Embassy of God. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church feels threatened. It doesn't like the way the evangelical movement is attracting some powerful members like politicians and it claims that the Embassy of God is a cult. The followers become like zombies. They are fully devoted to the leader of the organization, ready to fulfill any of his desires. It also has an impact on political life, because these people have to campaign for the politicians loyal to their church. But the Embassy of God says there's no brainwashing. Instead, it's successful because it works with people who feel rejected by society. At this homeless shelter in Kiev, it helps prostitutes, drug addicts and members of the Mafia. A lot of people have become alienated following the end of the Soviet Union. So perhaps the reason that this new church is so popular is that it offers a sense of community, something which has been lacking for many Ukrainians. Helen Fox, BBC News, Kiev. Blessed Kingdom of God for All Nations is one of the largest evangelical churches in Europe. It has more than 20,000 members in Kiev and about 50,000 members in other countries. The church founder, Pastor Sunday Adelaja, is the author of more than 50 books about Christian life. And I believe that Pastor Sunday Adelaja is the closest thing I've ever seen to someone fully committed to the purposes of God. The basic purpose of his ministry is to raise up strong leaders that will be able, in their turn, to raise up other leaders. This is the reason why 14 Bible schools and institutes have united in the Embassy of God Spiritual Academy. Thousands of graduates have gone out to various countries. More than 300 churches are under the Embassy of God. 218 of them are in Ukraine and 113 abroad. Only 34 branches of the Embassy of God hold their meetings every Sunday around the city of Kiev. This is the house of God where I serve. This is my family. I feel I am needed here. This is the place where I can realize my potential. For me, the church is my whole life. I have life, happiness, and love here. This is the place where I feel very comfortable. I always can come here and find joy. I found the real family of God. Influential politicians, members of the parliament, and municipal deputies are all members of the Embassy of God. By acting according to Christian moral principles, they influence the legislative authority of Ukraine. Every day in the parliament, I speak more and more about God. The church must be a leading force of the society. 
Many who were unemployed before coming to the Embassy of God and due to the pastor's work have now started their own businesses. In the Reformation Business Academy, qualified specialists hold seminars on how to do honest business. The businessmen of this new generation now build their work on biblical principles. This is why support for family-styled children's homes, hospitals, and boarding schools are an essential part of their activity. In order to solve manufacturing problems, advice bureaus in the factories have been established. The charity center, Stefania, is sponsored by the businessmen of the Embassy of God. Every day, more than 1,500 homeless and needy people receive a free hot meal. Хвалите Господа, все народы прославляйте Его, все примерно, и помилость Его к нам велика. Стена Господня воды, и помилость Его к нам велика. Стена Господня воды. Every year, the Love Rehabilitation Center holds the March of Life against AIDS. During its existence, more than 3,500 alcoholics and drug addicts have received a normal life. God has set me free from alcohol, and now I have a dream and calling. I was a drug addict for five years. God has given me freedom and a sense of life. The qualified counselors of the Trust Hotline help those who have found themselves in crisis situations. During its five years of existence, more than 70,000 people have been consulted. Precautions about negative social problems among scholars and students have become one of the most important directions of the Embassy of God's activities. Many teenagers are won and saved by this work. Hundreds of children are rehabilitated and brought back home. The Embassy of God runs a complex program of solving family problems. The work of the Marriage Preparation School and Advice Bureaus is directed to equip and prepare people for marriage. The Embassy of God continues to work on the subject of spiritually moral family planning. Women's groups are arranged where pregnant young mothers can get necessary psychological help. The qualified consultants are working on the psychological consequences of abortion and AIDS prevention. In the men's groups, husbands are helped to take their proper place in the family and society. The annual men's conference draws thousands of men, not only from Ukraine, but from abroad as well. This is the place where I can find God. The church is the life I am living now. The raising up of Christian morals and ethics is the main direction of the youth social organizations of the Embassy of God. The things we have seen are so great and we'd like to transfer something like this to Greece where we have started a church, AWC Athens Worship Center, and we'd like to see Greece being blessed as Ukraine. You're a great example. Through the TBN and Revelation TV satellite channels, Pastor Sunday's preaching is heard by more than 200 million people. The branches of the Embassy of God are functioning in more than 300 cities and villages of Ukraine, as well as in the countries of the former Soviet Union, Canada, India, South Africa, Germany, the United Arab Emirates, Latvia, Israel, and Holland. Today, the influence of the Embassy of God has spread into 100 countries. I get encouragement here. I feel God's presence in this place. I get love and joy here. God has redeemed me from drug addiction and bondage of sin.
When a man speaks and his words come true, why should I not believe him? I met Pastor Sunday before the church had begun. Nothing was started. I couldn't even imagine about the existence of such churches. All that was new for us. When I was just starting the church, I made the decision not to create big programs and draw crowds of people at the beginning, though I hoped many would come. But I decided only to make an announcement on television, inviting at least some people, because I knew if I could manage to gather together eight or ten people, I could teach them well. So we did it. To be able to have regular Bible studies, Sunday Adelaja had to quit his high-paying job as a journalist at Retinio Studio. He had to leave his corporate apartment and car and stay with his friends in dorms. They knew nothing about God. They were complete unbelievers. And for three months, I put so much truth into them that their spirits became on fire and they wanted to build the church themselves. They understood what the church is. Sunday Adelaja and his friends, foreigners, spent all of their little savings to put together a charity Christmas dinner. The young pastor was getting used to frequent times of fasting. I was one of those who helped Pastor Sunday to arrange the church from the very beginning. I sang in the worship group, I served as an usher, I remember how we had our first leadership meetings. Actually, all the meetings in the beginning were held in my apartment. The first leadership meetings, the rehabilitation center classes, the worship group practice, all that was in my apartment then. Of course it was difficult to draw the first people to meetings. But I walked with my members everywhere, on the bus, on the transport, encouraging them to preach. I would not let anyone stay passive. We had to talk to the people about God. On February 6th, 1994, the Word of Faith Church was established. 50 people attended the grand opening. Pastor Sunday began to hold the first leadership meetings. Seven people fervently prayed every day and walked around the city telling people about Jesus Christ and inviting them to the service. By the end of 1994, there were 700 people in the church. In the same year, the Love Rehabilitation Center, where alcoholics and drug addicts could be set free from addiction, was established. About 3,000 people have been set free from alcohol and drug addiction in the years of its existence. In August 1994, Pastor Sunday Adelaja married Abosede Adelaja. Now I can't even imagine my ministry without my wife, because we are as one. And I can say that all I do, she also does. God is the foundation of our family. I serve the Lord, my husband serves the Lord, and we believe our children also would serve the Lord. By the first anniversary on February 6, 1995, the church had grown and there were 1,000 people. Due to the television programs where people told how their lives had been changed, the church became popular in the city. He's waiting for you. He says, come to me today. I want to prove my love to you. I want to help you in life. And he really helps. Thousands of Kiev residents came to the church and accepted Jesus Christ into their hearts. And after two years, we already had 2,000 members. We had our meetings in cold building where the walls were almost frozen. But the Spirit of God had filled us so much that Pastor was on the stage dressed just in a shirt and he was hot because God was with us. In 1995, Pastor Sunday wrote his first book. The same year, the Joshua Bible School was established and the first missionary church was planted in Homel, Belarus. In 1996, there were 3,000 people in the Word of Faith Church. Very well-known speakers visited the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
In 1997, many negative articles were published about the church and Pastor Sunday in particular. There were lies and falsification of facts. By the end of the 90s, about 50 articles in several television programs which abused the church and Pastor Sunday had been published. In spite of the reporters' attacks, the church continued to grow in number. Daughter churches were planted in other districts of the city. The members of the Word of Faith Church began to preach the gospel to prisoners in the Kiev city district. The Religious Affairs Department became interested in the activity of the foreign black preacher in the Orthodox country. Meanwhile, in the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Sunday Adelaja's passport mysteriously got lost. Sunday Adelaja and his pregnant wife were being kicked out of the country. Since 1997, fasting and prayer retreats for pastors have become regular and are held twice a year. Right now, about 1,000 people from different countries attend the retreats yearly. In the same year, Ministry for Street Children was established. From 1997 until 2002, about 500 girls and boys have received spiritual and social rehabilitation. Many were returned to their families. In 1998, when the church was four years old, there were various court cases on the activity of the church and particularly Pastor Sunday. In spite of persecution, many influential people such as businessmen, lawyers and politicians became members of the church. New daughter churches were planted in the Kyiv district and in Russia. In 1998, the S3rd Ukrainian Christian Women's Society was established. It is distinguished by its charitable work in hospitals, orphanages and social work with poor families and single mothers. In the same year, the ministry that provides spiritual and psychological help for married couples was established. Sanda Delagio was accused of being an illegal resident. Then he was prohibited from any preaching activity. There were police, CIA, medical and psychiatrical representatives at every service of the Word of Faith Church. The Visa and Registration Department said that Pastor Sunday had to leave the country within two weeks. In 1998, the soup kitchen Stefania was established with the help of Senator Leonid Chernovetsky. 2,000 people get a complete hot meal for free each day. Since its beginning, about 800,000 people have been fed. Stephanie Ministry provides social, medical and spiritual help to the poor and destitute. Praise God, I was given the way. They told me that there is a God and that I am not hopeless. And now we have our own business and we believe that God is with us and all things are possible for us. In 1999, the church continued to grow. New daughter churches were being planted in Ukraine and abroad. The nationalist movement threatened that they would deal with Sunday Adelaja in a bad way, but later changed their mind and now share his views. The visit of the popular speaker and politician from the Bahamas, Dr. Miles Monroe, spawned a new breakthrough and growth in the church. The members of the church reacted positively to the teaching on the calling and purpose of man and began to study. Some opened their own businesses. After Dr. Monroe's visit, the Davir Musical School, where children and adults can study, was established. Also in 1999, the English School was established and the 24-hour hotline where people can get counseling for various life situations was also begun. In 2000, the male ministry was established and 8,000 people are involved in the correspondence. In the same year, the long lawsuit against the pastor and the church ended. The church won the court case and the negative talk and publications in the mass media stopped. The Word of Faith Church grew both in quality and quantity. Our family was about to be destroyed by the plans of the devil, but God had His plan. I thank God for this church. This is a new life, a new breath. I have learned to work with people in a team. People who were with Pastor Sunday at that time now recall about Pastor. In his weakness, Pastor understood that it, it is impossible to live under such pressure unless you have close relationship with God. That only energy from God gave him the ability to withstand in those difficult times. 
každý mesec bože tisíce šesťdesát dvěta a dvěsta desetku. The problem of the attack is still that you could do that. Every month we had more than 1,000 people get saved. But the only problem was how to place them all, how to make everyone a member of the church, how to work with the new converts. And God gave me a dream. Do just like Jesus did. He had his 12 disciples. In the same way, you too take 12 disciples and let them have 12 disciples and so on. This will give each member the opportunity to receive the pastor's care and teaching and to release to other people what he has gotten from his leader. Due to the 12th system, by the end of 2000, the church had grown to 15,000 people. Regular night prayers for Pastor Sunday were also established in the year 2000. In 2001, on AIDS International Remembrance Day, the first March of Life took place. Around 20,000 people marched through the streets of the capital to declare that Jesus Christ can give a second chance to the drug addicts and HIV infected. In 2001, the Word of Faith Church held its first men's conference, which 4,000 men from all the world attended. They learned how to find their identity and place in the family and society. As the son Elijah was awarded the rank of Academician of the International Academy of spiritual unity of the nations of the world, recognized by the United Nations, and given a diploma and a medal. Beginning in 2001, Pastor Sunday began traveling to other countries, and his first disciples were going out as missionaries to countries around the world to preach the gospel and plant new churches. At the end of the year 2001, the church